Hey guys, Ian here from Mid America Prep. Thanks for tuning in and watching. Now you may be asking why I'm in here today. Well, today I'm going to be showing you a product that I picked up. I've been wanting it for a while, but uh, I picked it up at Walmart um, just the other day while they're having their 50% uh, off sporting goods sale, pretty much. Um, they're getting rid of all their firearms, or well, all their firearms, with all their semi-automatics and their tactical because their sales were supposedly down compared to everything else, which I find that hard to believe and not being pressured from the left. But this was one of the items that I've been watching for a while, and I went ahead and picked a couple of them up. And that item is the Blackhawk XX, XSF um, Punch Dagger. Now, this is like a little neck knife that uh, I've been looking for, uh, buying one of these like this uh, for a while. Now, I usually, in my everyday carry, this is what I carry around my neck. Usually is the CRKT Minimalist. Now, this is like a very small bladed uh, minimalist knife. Um, let's see how long the, the blade is actually overall. Uh, just like just just at two inches from tip to tip, you know, this point here at tip. Um, two inches and it cost me like 15 bucks at Lowe's. They don't have many more, but um, anyways, glad I picked this up. Um, now is it going to be doing a whole lot for me? You know, a neck knife of this size um, for self-defense? Maybe or maybe not. Normally I do carry my Spider Codelica 4, you know, this right here. Uh, as my primary uh, knife and my primary uh, self-defense weapon is going to be my uh, Glock 19. Um, so I went ahead and picked this up several months ago, actually going on a year now, and I've worn it every day. And so I want another neck knife, but I couldn't find any of these at a reasonable price. And a reasonable price is 25 bucks under locally. I mean, I could buy it online, but um, I didn't want to go and buy it online because I, could, I know I have them somewhere else here in town and so uh, I went ahead and waited and actually Walmart my local Walmart had their sale and they had two of these now let's go ahead and crack it open and show you the dimensions and everything what it's all about um, so here we go alright so right off the top we can see that it says the Blackhawk XSF punch dagger um, which means it's not really a knife so much as like this right here. This is you know an actual knife. I mean it's got a, a handle, a full handle and a full blade um, so you can actually cut something with it. Um, it's not so much a, a punching dagger or you know it is a self-defense tool because you can use it as a self-defense tool but from my uh, minimal expertise um, I call this a knife and this will be a dagger because that's actually what it's designated as and you know you can use any knife as a dagger, as a stabber, but this one is uh, not really for cutting itself. Um, right on the top here it says uh, it's made of AUS 8A stainless steel blade, uh, black Teflon coating, has a textured G10 handle scales, an injected molded nylon sheath with check or neck chain, uh, which the chain is back here. Uh, the overall blade length is um, 3.8 five inches and it's a uh, zero ground so it's kind of got of a uh, a weird knife I mean, uh, weird blade shape I'll go ahead and we'll cut it open so I can actually read the instructions or what, what's come with and I don't let's see here I don't have a box cutter with me and so I, I'm not gonna use my carry knife to, to cut open plastic because it just dulls it yeah that'll work whatever There's that. What comes with this? Uh, okay. So here's the uh, ball ball chain. Now I don't really like these kind of chains because um, they are made to be able to break away. It's, it's coated in black. Um, I don't know what, what exactly the, the coating is. Uh, first of all, I don't like uh, the ball ball chains because uh, most of them end up well, like right there. That wasn't tight enough. You could put that on your neck and it just fell out you have to go ahead and tighten it up which is not very hard all you do is squeeze that together but right out of the box it just falls you can't even watch it just falls right out and so that's not a big deal and you can always tighten it up but I don't like these chains and so I'm gonna go ahead and change that out for a paracord such as this right here and I always have a paracord lanyard and uh, uh, you can and you can adjust these uh, smaller and bigger 
um, so it rides higher or lower on you. Anyways, let's see here. What all does it come with? Um, just that. And then normal Blackhawk stuff comes with uh, this little product card so you can fill it out, do their little survey or whatever. And um, basically it's like a, uh, a warranty thing, I think. Yeah, please detach card at dotted line and return to us within 10 days of purchase. Um, I don't like these little postcards because then the people get your information and everything. I mean, you really don't want that information out there. Um, so anyway, unless you put it in an envelope. So anyways, um, don't need that. What is this blade about? Well, it comes off right at... Um, there it is. It's, I mean, it's, it's a fairly good sized blade. It's got an awful weird, you know, it's a zero grind, so it's kind of dull. If you can kind of see there, it has a weird tip on it. It's not really, it's a square tip, but it's angled weird. Um, uh, what, would, what would you do different with this? I mean, you could, you could definitely jab that into somebody or something and uh, crack it open and everything, crack them open. Uh, I like the finish and everything. The, the the blade itself, I really don't like a punch dagger because you can't really, I mean, you can hold it like so or between your fingers or, or however you want to hold it. It's just um, one of those things I really don't like to uh, really carry for primary self-defense. Uh, and, you know, a knife is also good to be carrying if you can't carry a firearm in your place. So this may be a, a, one of those things that... I, I would rig up a, a belt loop or something, I don't know, but um, let's try the injected molded sheath here. Pretty good, pretty good purchase on it. Positive retention. Takes a little bit to pull it out. Um, see, the other thing is, is if you're wearing this around your neck and you go and yank it out, like you're going to have to use it really quick. With the ball chain, um, there's a good chance of the ball chain ripping apart, which is what it's supposed to do. If somebody's pulling on it and trying to choke you with it, um, very big possibility. I just don't like this little connection he connection here um, for that reason. And so, um, a little bit of force may end up breaking the chain, and then you drop your knife or or whatever. So that's why I use the paracord because it does withstand 550 pounds or the force. And especially with this knife, it's not as tight as that one is. But uh, that's all right. Um, can't really compare the two. I mean, completely different type of, type of blades. Um, the overall comparison between these two blades for a neck knife carry, um, like I said, I like this one. It has a handle on it, and you can kind of actually use it to slice or, or do whatever. Um, the, the dagger has a little bit more blade on it, but that's not a big deal um, because... This right here is very sharp. I've sharpened it once, um, and it did cut me at the time. <laughs> so uh, it's very sharp, and I'm touching the blade. But um, and this one right here is not really all that sharp. Let's get something out of here. I'm out of printer paper, so I can't really show you on white vertical paper. But I mean, you have to you have to like slice through it and kind of with that awkward zero grind on it it's you know the blades a quarter of an inch or just under a quarter of an inch you know with the with the cut and everything so you can't really slice with this blade at a, a proper angle it's very tight or very rigidy now this one here comparing that it's not all that much better but at least you get a, a straight cut or straighter slice through it um, really what I wanted this for was more of a vehicle knife. Um, I had several knives in my vehicle. I have one in my door panel, one right next to my seat, but there's one of those, um, knives that you may need for, uh, quick self-defense. And so, on my, uh, sun visor, I have made up this little holder here for my, uh, pepper spray. Now, I don't always, I mean, I always get this pepper spray in the vehicle. I don't use it, obviously. But um, this is always there for like a, a non-lethal option when I'm carrying my firearm or just a knife itself. And so uh, this sits on my sun visor and I'll show you what it looks like in the vehicle. But I'm going to make a uh, nylon webbing adapter for this sheath. Now, I got to be honest here, I did, 
I did say I got a couple of them, so I went ahead and, and I got these others. Um, you might see a little bit of a paint difference, not really there, but um, this is a different sheath, the same sheath, but different knife. Um, I did, uh, I was trying to clean this blade with some uh, cleaner, and the blade ended up, uh, like the, this little Teflon finish here, just started getting eaten away. And so I went ahead and completely stripped it and sprayed it back with black um, Krylon. Now the blade itself is not very sharp. I mean, none, neither of these blades is very sharp. The uh, the spray paint kind of got some of that, you know, dull. Put it made it a little bit duller. Um, but I did make a tip on this blade. Let's see if it'll focus there. If you can see that tip there, I did grind it down a little bit with hand files and get get it a little bit better of a. Uh, daggerish, you know, knife point. Um, I don't really know all the terms for reviewing, reviewing knives, but um, this one, I'm probably going to put in my vehicle for something that can be a little better for uh, self-defense, and this one I guess I can use for uh, either giving away or, you know, um, use it for uh, a neck knife, which I probably won't get away from the Fultz Minimalist. Um, but anyways, uh, give me some time and we will uh, sew up a little uh, contraption here for um, this here. Alright, it's been about 45 minutes since I first started this video. I got a little bit more cleanup on this here. But I couldn't figure out how exactly I wanted to do it, but I went ahead and made this little contraption. This is going to go around the sun visor, which you'll see in it, see it here pretty quick. Um, basically, it's just um, the, inch, or the inch webbing, and up here I sewed two of them together because I didn't have two inch webbing. Um, you can see the sewing there. It's not SOE quality, obviously, because it's not SOE, but um, I, I started sewing quite a while ago, several noons ago. And so I made up this little thing here out of my mind. <laughs> Sounds kind of weird. But um, let's see here. Got some loose edges to, to clean up. It's not completely straight, but I did have to go and um, use the. Uh, I have a soldering iron that has a straight tip on it. And I did burn a couple holes in it um, for this, this here um, oh, little sheath it is. Um, so what I'm going to do here, we're gonna, we have some Chicago screws. I was going to use, um, these are like not, these are Chicago screws, but not really the ones I wanted to use. These are silver ones. Um, I don't know what the proper term of them is, but they have a quarter inch post. And so I'm not going to use those. These are black and there are six sets. So it should be good there. Let's see what they what they look like going through. Make sure I got this all lined up the way I want it. Yep, that's gonna be the way. So we're gonna take these from the bottom or the back side, go right through the nylon. And uh, it may be a little tight. Hopefully those posts are long enough. We'll start one of them. Like I said, this is not an all-inclusive real, real review of the knife because I'm not going to be cutting anything. I just really wanted to re reveal the knife and how, how I'm going to be uh, using it for the most part. Um, I, I like this, the knife itself, and I don't know if I'm going to like this concept of where I'm going to put it at. But um, this is an Allen head. Let's see if we can... It's tightened down the way they need to be. Now it doesn't look all that pretty around the edges. Had a little bit of a, uh, you know, with this, the webbing you can go across it and burn it, but you can't really burn it going lengthwise, and so that's why the edges look like crap. 
Um, I did have to take the two to one, or two, and then cut it down to make it look like one. Uh, I did reinforce it down the middle and then on the edges, but it's not a big deal. But anyways, that's what the sheath looks like right now. Let's go ahead. I like the look of that for the most part. Let's see if we can get that thing turned around. There. there we go. Okay, so it's all tightened down with Chicago screws and um, properly fitted. Now let's go jump in the Jeep and we'll see what it looks like hanging from the visor. All right guys, so it's a nice 90 degrees outside and I'm out here in the Jeep. Um, let's see here, what I have here set up in front of me is my pepper spray and so I'll show you this. Um, in front of me here on my visor is the pepper spray right there uh, next to my garage door opener. Um, but this pepper spray is simply, all you have to do is yank on it and it'll come right out. Um, this little flap sits there and kind of holds it in there. Um, but it just comes right out. I'm not going to pull it out right now. But that's pretty easy, easily deployable. And that's the butt end of it. And so you can grab it and you have it ready to spray right there. Um, and just have that little locking mechanism on them. Um, anyways, this is on the um, driver's side. And over here on the passenger side, we have the knife set up. Um, it simply attaches right there with the Velcro male side on this side and female over here. And it kind of comes down to that point. Um, doesn't look exactly 100% pretty, but, um, you know, it doesn't have to look pretty for now. Um, so it simply just yanks right out if I need it. Um, like I said, it's not going to be a primary self-defense tool because I will be using, you know, I'll be carrying a knife myself. And I can pretty much get my knife right out just like that. I have my neck knife on me right now, which is not as easily deployable sitting down and in a vehicle. But um, this would be pretty easy to grab if I had to just go up here and yank it. And uh, it's also great for the passenger. Um, now, if I'm not going to be in the vehicle... Um, for an extended period of time or if there's a child in the vehicle obviously I can just simply take the knife and I can put it down here in the glove box or in the uh, or in the middle compartment here or the glove box and lock it up because I wouldn't want somebody to break into my vehicle um, simply because I have a knife showing and so that's all you have to do is come up here and grab it and yank and pull um, I know that it kind of hangs down a little bit but that's exactly what I want so I can come in here like so and have it ready to uh, go to town with. So that is the uh, little Blackhawk XSF uh, dagger. I do have to mention that I did, um, well, I did uh, get it on sale. Normally it was $25.97 or something like that. I got it on sale for $13. So I went ahead and picked up two of them because that's the same price as just one of them alone. 26 bucks and it came out like 27 50 or something like that. Um, but anyways, uh, I went ahead and picked up two of them. Like I said, got one in here now and one to give away or just keep and hang on to. But uh, it's a great little knife um, for what it is. It's not number one, but maybe number one, I don't know. You'll have, you'll have to decide on that. But anyways, this is Ian from Mid-America Prep. Thanks for watching.